news, and current affairs. Top stories of the day. Business, sports, music, and entertainment. Dadalhin sa inyo. Dadalhin sa inyo. Ng mas pinaganda, mas pinalawa, mas pinalakas. Radyo Pilipinas. Radyo, Radyo Pilipinas. Radyo Pilipinas Ago. DZAG 97.1 FM. Sabay-sabay nating tunghayan at pakinggan ang programang Hatid ay Kaalaman. Inihahandog sa inyo ng Binsu at 97.1 Radio Pilipinas Ago. Ito ang Library on Air. At mga kaibigan, sa magandang-magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa isang pong edisyon ng ating programang Dimsu Library on Air. Ngayon po'y araw po ng biyernes. TGIF tayo ngayon, Miss Ana Nova. No? TGIF. Thank God it's Friday, but thank God every day. Ngayon po ay December 10, 2021. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Charity Jimenez Frianeza. Makakasama po ninyo sa loob po ng isang oras nating talakayan. At ang aking magiging partner po for today, walang iba kundi si Miss Ana Nova Lacuata Parocha mula naman po sa Dimsu Library. Good morning, Miss Ana Nova. Ayan, isang mapagpalang umaga, Ma'am Charity, at sa lahat po ng ating mga kabasa. Welcome na naman po sa isang informative at special na episode ngayong araw. At ako pumili ang inyong makakasama, Ana Nova Lacuata Parocha, with the Team Library, headed by Dr. Nancy Frihiliana Galba. Ayan, special na naman ang edition natin, no? episode natin ngayon may sa Ana at uh, maganda rin po ito na mapakinggan at uh, mapanood ng uh, iba't ibang mga librarian sa buong uh, bansa, hindi lamang po dito sa Region 1, hindi lang po dito sa La Union. For sure po ay marami po tayo matututunan ngayong umaga. So para hindi na po natin patagalin, Miss Ana Nova, sino ba ang ating uh, magiging guest na yan? Baka pwede mo na siyang ipakilala. Ayan, ma'am. And our guest for today showed exemplary dedication, competence, and integrity in the conduct of her profession, having served for 34 years and having rose from the ranks to chief librarian until her retirement from the National Library of the Philippines. She significantly contributed to the advancement of the profession and for her immense involvement in various professional organizations that pioneered the passage of the Republic Act No. 6966 and the 9246, otherwise known as the Philippine Librarianship Act. And her dedication and commitment as a librarian made her to continuously hone her expertise and professional competence through attendance in seminars, training and conferences here and abroad, including services rendered in the National Libraries of Nigeria, Singapore, and San Diego, California, USA, to benefit the country. Furthermore, for years, she has been active in various outreach projects of the ply, including bringing books and updating library facilities in Mindanao, which earned her the Ply Sirilubi Perez Award. With all these achievements, the Professional Regulation Commission conferred her as the Outstanding Professional Librarian of the Year Award on June 18, 2010. She is also the president of the following organizations, the Be My Friend Foundation, Korean Filipino Group, and Kaibigan Library Association of the Philippines, or the KLPI. She is also the Vice President of the Book Talk Society of the Philippines. Currently, she is the Library Affairs Consultant at ICCT Colleges Foundation in Caintarizal, Library System Consultant of Vibal Group of Companies, and Head Librarian at the Northwestern Visayan Colleges, Calibo, Aklan. Mga kabasa, our dear viewers and listeners, We are very privileged to invite one of the most distinguished personality in our profession, 
Professor Fe E. Abelardo, the retired chief librarian of the National Library of the Philippines. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am Fe. Ma'am Fe, nakamute po kayo. Ma'am Fe, nakamute po. Nakamute po yung mic niyo. Ayan. Ang mute niyo lang po. Ayan. Good morning, ma'am. Ayan. Hindi ako masyadong aware of this, ano. So, I have to ask my apo. Kasi... <laughs> Sorry, mga apo na talaga. Ano, ma'am? Uh, kasi, na natin. I ask na sina pwedeng uh, ano ko nang prior doon sa aking lecture kasi I don't know how to connect the, yung papers at saka yung mga kung anong dapat kong ihanda. So, I asked my apo yesterday. So, nagkataon naman na, na ano pala yung I cannot open. So, uh, since, ano, pinadala sa messenger ni Ms. Nancy. Yeah. So, maraming salamat sa pag-invite mo sa akin, sa sa grupo ng La Union University, yes. SLU, SLU. Yes. And then, um, yeah. Uh, amaze ako, at saka, ano, proud, dahil uh, at least kahit na senior, na invite pa ako sa mga ganitong organization. Okay? Um, so, I was asked to talk on outsourcing library technical services. Mm -hmm. So, it was Ms. Nancy who who asked me to talk on this. Hindi uh, ko lang alam kung your, your university ay doing outsourcing na. Bukod pa yung ano, you have outsourcing like yung uh, other activities in the library. So, uh, I was asked to talk on this. So, mm -hmm. iaano ko lang kung anong nalalapang ko, okay? Yes, uh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Kasi actually, marami rin po siguro na mga libraries ngayon na well, mga kulang sa budget, ganyan. So, kailangan na i-outsource yung may iba't ibang mga kailangan po nila. Yan, napakahalaga so unang-una siguro ma'am tanong uh, baka pwede po nating bigyan muna ng informasyon ng ating mga tagapakinig at syempre yung mga nanonood po kasi nakalive din po tayo sa ating mga FB pages po ng DZAG Radio Pilipinas Ago at ng DIMSU SEDUC ano po ba in a nutshell itong outsourcing ma'am? Okay. Yeah, pwede pang i-move na para okay uh, the information explosion during these years has become a challenge to the librarians and library and information centers. Simultaneously has been an ever increase in cost of information products, resources, and services. Outsourcing of work is a very common issue in today's production and service sectors. And the transforming nature of information technologies, intellectual and technologies, and digitization is awesome manpower, information, and communication technology, technology infrastructures. In present and near future, context on library can be an island affair, a region one, a self-centered, whether in terms of services given, resources stored, or managing the show. Resources need to be shared could be a uh, seek cooperation from the extend help to other system the type of services and the organizing resources are now in a changing mood in this context outsourcing of library activities appears to be a necessary strategy innovative strategy Outsourcing of work is quite familiar in today's production and service sectors. Engaging outside agency in the library field is now quite common. In recent days, libraries are contracting outside agencies not only for classification and cataloging services, but also for other functions as well, including the development of automated systems the acquisition of materials, preservation of library resources, etc. 
these practices were not labeled as outsourcing when first adopted, but they are common practice today. Nowadays, so outsourcing is mostly used for digitization of data and especially for retroconversion process in our country. Next poll. <laughs> now we have the role of libraries today. As gateways to knowledge and culture, libraries play a fundamental role, fundamental role in society. The resources and services they offer create opportunities for learning, support literacy and education, and help shape the new ideas and perspectives that are central to a creative, innovative society. They also help ensure an authentic record of knowledge created and affirmated by past generation and without libraries. It would be difficult advance research and human knowledge or preserve the world cumulative knowledge and heritage for future generations. <clears throat> Next book. What is library resources and services? Library resources are those materials, both print and non-print, found in school libraries which support curricular and personal information needs. Print items include books, magazine, newspaper, pamphlets, microfiche, or, or microfilm. The library services facilities include circulation service, reference service, online reservation of books, recommendation of library materials, current awareness service, interlibrary loan service, photocopying, printing service, orientation, and information sessions selected the dissemination of information. Okay, next. What is resource sharing in libraries? Library resource sharing is nothing but sharing of library resources with other participating libraries who need it. It is a type of library cooperation where every participating library shares their unused and sometimes their valuable library materials with other libraries and the most frequent loose use shared network environment objects are files data multimedia and hardware resources like printers fax machine and scanners functions are shared in common by a number of libraries and the most positive effect resource sharing entails reciprocity employing partnership in which each member has something useful to contribute to others and in which every member is willing and able to make available when needed. <clears throat> and what is, what is the concept of outsourcing? Outsourcing is the best business practice of hiring a partly outside company to perform service or create goods that were traditionally performed in-house by the company's own employees and staff. Outsourcing is a practice usually undertaken by companies as the cost-cutting measures. Due to the impact of modern technologies, the library environment has changed to a great extent. Consequently, the flow of work has changed and librarians have adopted new and additional duties. In order to face the challenges in this new environment, the library authorities have updated strategic plan and changed the plan, the job priority. The information explosion during recent years has become a challenge to the librarians in the library information centers. Simultaneously, there has been an ever increase in cost of information products, resources, and services. Simultaneously, there has been an ever increase in cost of information products, resources, and services. Outsourcing of works is a very common issue in today's production and service sectors. Engaging outside agency in the library is not a new subject. Next.
uh, now the type of uh, professional uh, types of outsourcing services we have professional outsourcing multi-sourcing IT sourcing process specific source outsourcing the business process outsourcing manufacturing outsourcing project outsourcing or operational outsourcing next four and what is outsourcing and it, it, its example some other examples of very successful business activities which are frequently outsourced include payroll accounting services staff training technical support custom support call centers procurements manufacturing supply chains recruitment computer programming research and development data entry okay next Next four. Next four. Ayan, ma'am. Yes. Miss Anna Nova, no? Nabanggit nga ni Ma'am Pei. Yung iba-ibang... I'm done with the out... Yes, outsourcing and the types of my examples ng outsourcing. Mga mayroon ito po mong mga examples po ninyo. Eh. And now next is what? Outsourcing services. Yes. Outsourcing. Payroll. Like yung payroll, like sa library services, saka sa data center, mga ganyan. Example yun nung ano. Uh, training, staff training, technical support, customer support, call centers, uh, manufacturing, supply chains, recruitment, computers programming, research and development, and data entry. Now, what is outsourcing services? So I've uh, given the sample of uh, services, outsourcing examples. Now, next is outsourcing services. Outsourcing services has grown exponentially over the last decade as the primary response to events that changed the global business environment. As business routine to struggle with the after the effect of recessions, layoff, political unrest, social and climate change, corporate, strategy has shifted its resources toward ways and means to streamline cost without compromising productivity. So outsourcing has been proven to be an effective process to accomplish both cost management and revenue regeneration concern of business. Okay, next. And now, outsourcing benefits and cost. The business case for outstanding varies by situation, but the benefits of outstanding outsourcing often include Increased efficiency, variable capacity, increased focus on strategy called comprehensive competencies, access to skill or resources, increased flexibility to meet changing business and commercial condition, accelerated time to market, 
lower and going investment in internet infrastructure, access to innovation, intellectual part property and thought leadership, possible cash influx resulting from transfer of assets to the new provider. So next, cost effective. We mentioned already that the benefit, uh, one is lower cost. Cost cut may not be the only reason to outsource, but it's certainly a major factor. Many businesses embrace outsourcing as a way to realize cost saving or better cost control over the outsource function. Outsourcing converts fixed cost into variable cost releases capital for investment elsewhere in your business and allow you to avoid large expenditures in early stages of your business. The most important benefit is that outsourcing of work allows one to get the work done at a very low cost and in a much efficient way. There is a vast difference in the wage patterns of the Western developed countries and the developing countries. This. The kind of work which is done in the U.S. for a very high price can be obtained is a much cheaper rate in the developing countries and the difference varies to up to 60%. Offshore outsourcing allowing allows the organization to obtain high quality services at the low operational cost. So we already mentioned the one of the benefit, increased efficiency. Companies that do everything themselves have much higher research, development, sales and marketing, and distribution expenses, all of which must be passed on to the customers. Outsourcing the business function and working with an outside provider, its cost structure and economy of scale can give you firm an important competitive advantage. Next, how to, how to get the most from outsourcing. Business often think about outsourcing purely in terms of cost savings, but Outsourcing can do more than just lower expenses. As your business grows, outsourcing can be a way to promote innovation, disrupt your industry, and access new skill sets that reposition your company in the market. When considering how outsourcing can help you grow, don't limit yourself to looking at the cost of hiring outside contractors versus handling it as with your current staff. Focus on the value of contractors' expertise adds to your company, whether through expanding production, marketing your company more extensively, or disrupting the way your industry does business. Outsourcing can provide an opportunity for you to innovate, grow, and rise above the competition. Next, now according to ALA task force, outsourcing is the contracting external companies and organizations, functions that would otherwise be confirmed by library employees. Privatization is the shifting policy making and management of library service of the responsibility for the performance of core library services and they're entirely from the public to private sectors. Core services are those professional activities that define the profession of librarianship. These include collection development, organization, gathering and providing information, making the collection accessible to all the library users, providing assistance in the use of the collection, providing oversight and management of these activities.
what outsourcing of library activities there are mainly three areas where outsourcing outsourcing work can be beneficial we already mentioned a while ago cost effectiveness to avoid the cost of investment on immediate infrastructure outsourcing is helpful it includes recruitment of staff with knowledge of modern technology. And then another one is outside workforce, a creation of new costs and virtually complex process. Outsourcing can be the solution here. It provides services per demand by outside talented work, workforce, workforce and timely result. There are similar agencies or organizations have required more expertise and ready work workforce to respond anytime as when basis. There are many other reasons for outsourcing, such as variable capacity of the organization, lack of in-house resources, increased flexibility to meet changing demand and commercial condition, getting technical work such as cataloging, classification, data entry done more efficiently or effectively. Another one is tighter control of budget through predictable cost. Outsourcing of library sources, services, activities can increase overall efficiency without hampering the routine works of the library. Now, Areas of outsourcing in library. In the field of library, activities of outsourcing are not a new entity. In the past, typing of catalog cards, subscribing the periodicals through the subscription agency, preparation of index cards, abstract preparation, binding, interlibrary loan, were managed through the outside agencies. The application of information technology in library and information centers give new ways for the outsourcing of library tasks. And at the present situation, the following services can be outsourced very easily from the different activities carried out in the library and information centers. Now next, at the present situation, the following services can be outsourced very easily from the different activities carried out in the library information centers. Acquisition, serial control, processing of library materials, circulation, collection maintenance, information services, IT-based tasks, urban manpower development and uh, manpower uh, administrative area, the maintenance of area. In the acquisition, getting the approval books, books, standing order, online order, entry and follows up, data input in worksheet and data entry from hard, soft copy, online data capture services, etc. And the for serial control, subscription to the periodical through vendors, aggregators, agency, building union catalog of periodicals, preparation of holding list, and the processing of library materials These are the preparation of catalog cards, filing cards, in sequence, OPAC development, labeling, tagging, putting plastic jackets, reclassification of documents, thesaurus development, and the for circulation activities like mark code, RFID application, preparation of cards, uh, membership upgradation, interlibrary loan for the collection maintenance 
Organization and preservation, selling books, reorganization of collection, replacing the documents and maintaining the proper order of the documents, stock verification, fumigation, dissatisfaction, dusting, humidity control, microfilming, binding, and other conservation related materials. And for the information services, electronic uh, document delivery, delivery services, generation of bibliographies, whether in your printing, bulletin, translation services, transcription services, building, spatial databases, Reprography services, query handling over telephone or help desk services, filing newspapers, pedering yung clippings. And for the IT based tasks, these are the documents digitizing services, digitization of catalog services, content management system, library automation tasks. Maintenance of hardware, software configuration, testing and maintenance services, open source software development, design services, website design services, uh, website optimization services, and maintenance overall networking system. Dito sa manpower development, we have Administ uh, upgrading the skills in this of the staff by arranging refresher course uh, administrative area a paper uh, filing mailing services uh, courier agencies on contract transport or contract technical writing editing and publishing marketing of the uh, uh, services. Now, some maintenance and overall building, whether in your engineering task, uh, building maintenance, cleaning of floors, security maintenance, smoke detectors, fire system. So it can be stated that there are so many core library functions of government or private libraries of various sizes and capacities which are often outsourced by outside people or agencies. So, lahat po ng activity nito pwedeng outsource natin. And then next, uh, yeah. So, uh, some of the reasons for outstanding were reduced original cataloging, turnaround time, improve the quality of cataloging, provide professional cataloging with more time for its public service duties, deal with accumulated backlogs, access expertise not available in-house, compensate for lack of available workspace, Interestingly, the editors suggested to the authors that they share their writing with their vendors for comments and to keep them in the loop since the vendor library relationship is crucial to making outsourcing successful. Many aspects of outsourcing are covered, including original and copy cataloging of books, physical processing, vendor pre-processing of approval materials, book selection over the library budget and the uh, maximum of utilization of resources possible. And by outsourcing, information repackaging and generating the revenue is possible. Outsourcing provides access to a large talent pool and sustainable source of skills. Outsourcing 
libraries increasingly use example knowledge service provides to supplement limited in-house capacity for production and service innovation. Another one, expansion of library planning, implementation, and evaluation, which processes can be achieved through outsourcing. It's a trend of understanding, uh, standardizing the library can be possible in IT services. And outsource library support staff, discovery, career ladder within the larger outsourcing organization with more opportunities for advancement. So next. Now we come to the negative aspects of outsourcing. When an organization begins outsourcing processes, they might find it difficult to manage the offshore provider when compared to managing processes within the organization. The contractor can be discontinued by the agency at any time without giving any reason or prior notice. Continuous changes in these contracting agencies may cause problems for running the management smartly. The employees of an organization may not like the outsourcing library processes and they might express lack of interest or lack of quality at work. The employment opportunities of the library workers would be narrowed down if outsourcing takes place on a large scale. Where entire library is outsourced, there's a loss of institutional memory, familiarity with practice areas of firm, firm culture, partners, and associates. And by outsourcing, the contractual staff are engaged for those works without the feeling of belonging to the library staff. There is always a facility bar between permanent staff and the contractual staff. Outsourcing, though cost-effective, might have hidden costs such as the real cost incurred while signing contract between companies. The authority might also have to spend a lot of time and effort in getting the contract signed. And no safeguards for intellectual property copying Besides, this can be several disadvantages in outsourcing, such as renewing contract, misunderstanding of the contracts, lack of communication, poor quality, delayed to services, among others. Finally, a library outsourcing their activities may not be open to the future development of its work as it becomes gradually dependent on outside agency. However, the disadvantages of outsourcing are less than the advantages of outsourcing. Now we come to the role of the library professional. In the context of library outsourcing, the library, the librarians perform an important role to coordinate in the process of outsourcing. Librarians need to clarify and understand the outsourcing issues, positions, and concern. And for providing outsourcing agencies clear understanding and agreement about the meaning of terms and conditions, informed discussions and decisions are required. For example, small libraries engage some skilled people, preferably fresh graduate, to do a particular library. Processing, uh, processing work on a short time projects basis where libraries are to coordinate or to supervise the work. In case of big libraries, there are so many types of outsourcing activities. Some small, medium libraries are also outsourcing their work. Sometimes it's project basis or sometimes contractual basis. In all the cases, librarians of permanent library professionals have crucial role to play 
in this respect, quality, actually quality of outsourcing service depends on the proper guidance and supervision of the librarian. Now we come to the process of outsourcing. These are the procedure area. While outsourcing any activity, the following steps are to be maintained. One, identifying objects of the library, uh, fixing of the activities has to be outsourced, preparing the schedule of cost benefit analysis, prepare the proposal stating the details of activities, negotiation and clarification of the points of activity, fixing contract, finalizing the terms and condition of contract, identification of risk, acceptance of the vendors, starting the process activity, evaluation and monitoring of the outsource task, and then the last is termination or renewed of activity or task. Now, in conclusion, outsourcing should be based on the solid cost benefit analysis and can be a key opportunity of success. The use of external human resources to enhance IT services offering is complicated by the evolution of outsourcing market. The library authorities must have the ability to meet the specific need and they have chosen to outsource for a variety of reasons. There is no overwhelming trend of libraries to embark on the social outsourcing of its technical services. Outsourcing of cataloging, mainly computation, is common to all types of libraries. Sometimes outsourcing as a managerial tool to be a workable solution to some management issues. And when you search carefully and judicially, it has resulted in enhanced library services and improved library management. Except core library activities, there are many non-core library activities which are outsourced as supporting services in libraries. Okay, that's all I think for this morning. Um, I have a question uh, for those, uh, because aside from this, I prepared um, uh, because I'm active in uh, outsourcing or uh, soliciting materials for the library for the less fortunate uh, libraries. So I think one of the, uh, I, have, I have a lot of libraries na kinulungan. Uh, because I know they have lack uh, lack of library resources. So I want to show, since I was able to uh, source uh, books from from abroad, akya lang kunting container yun. So hindi naman pwedeng uh, ano, uh, kasi ang container value 40 40 footers yon uh, this group uh, ang nahihingi kong libro ay kunti container 40 footers yon um, and then i know one uh, your library or the slu were able to access or uh, acquire some of these books na nahingi ko from abroad uh, ito, ito yung ating kwan. This ay yung aking mga kasama si Dr. Hidalgo, uh, Dr. Uh, Attorney Pobre. I know I know you know these people. This are ano, professor. Uh, yung aming association, pinaano ko yung para lang at least. Yung, itong fuse, ito yung mga ano ng mga schools, mga university president, ganun. I think dapat ang president ng SLU dapat maka-join dito sa organization na to. Kasi itong organization na to, ito yung nagaano ng mga ano na sa mga schools. Um, like yung mga subject na dapat na yung updated na ano about sa mga courses. 
eh, mostly dito ay mga president ng schools or universities itong aking mga kasama. Nagkataon lang na ako lang ang hindi ano doon sa school ay may librarian. But ako nakakapag-produce ng books for these schools na uh, kasi yung paghingi po ng libro hindi by individual kasi uh, it's it's a what you call this itong mga books na nahihingi ko is donation. Kaya lang you have to pay for the freight. Ah uh, hindi naman pwedeng isang library makakukuha ng 40,000 books. So, by ano yun, yung pagka nakahingi ako, from custom, yun ang babayaran to the recipient. Halimbawa, I was able to ask for my friend to to provide us the warehouse. Ito pong pinaglagyan ng warehouse, isang kaibigan ko na siya ang nagbigay na, siya ang nagbayad for the freight from custom to the Uh, warehouse. Libre po ang mga libro. Libre. Uh, kaya nga nung nalaman ko na mga kaibigan ko na uh, friend ko, ay gusto mo bang books? Nagkakataon na halos lahat na ramping yun ako mga congressman, mga uh, Scudero, si Scud- uh, sa, sa Bicol, sa Sorsogon, ito sa La Union, yung mga uh, halos lahat, mga congressman Padilla, nakapagbigay kami sa Baguio. Kasi kung ano, yung pong pagbibigay ng books, since container, multiple copies po yun, kaya hindi pwedeng isa lang ang maka-avail ng isang container. Dapat maraming libraries ang nakakaano. Since ang hinihingi ko lang, nakakapag-sponsor ako, nakakahingi ako ng yung magbabayad ng free from custom to ano, So, libre lahat po yung libro. Makita mo, dami-dami yun. Uh, they're one of the recipient itong ating SLU, si Madam Nancy. So, ito sila. Marami sila nakuha. Oh. Libre po yun, ha. <laughs> Wala akong hiningi. <laughs> hiningi ko lang na, okay, uh, bigyan mo yung, uh, yung tingnan mo, dami yun. Ano ho yun? Uh, parang passion ko lang na mag-invite uh, o mag- uh, pag mga kaibigan ko lahat, halos may nationwide, nakarating ako ng Marawi, sa Tawi-Tawi, gano'n. Ayan, na-invite ako. Pero yung mga naghihingi na dito lang sa Manila, they asked them to get the books sa warehouse. Nagkataon ito si Mr. Siya ang may-ari ng warehouse na napaglagyan ko. Before, na nasa Bibala ko, doon ko nilagay yung mga libro ko na hingi. Kaya lang, na gamit na yung building. So, uh, na gamit na yung Bival Public uh, Building. Uh, so, ayan, naka, nakiusap ako doon sa friend ko na mayaman na they only have warehouse. So, naglagay kami, di containers ang napunta doon sa warehouse na yun. So, marami akong nabigay hanggang sa La Union kay may uh, ano Congressman Tan kay Congressman Escudero Congressman yung kanila at least container ang dala-dala nila ito since they have a small van na lang ano so konti lang ako nila pat uh, so sabi kay Miss Nancy i yung neighboring ano nila pwedeng pang kumuha and then and loan, not only that ah uh, dahil Parang passion ko na nakakapag-service ako sa, no, kahit wala na ako sa service, wala na ako sa National Library, I still continue the, ano, may passion, may advocacy to, to support these uh, uh, libraries o mga na walang kulang ang collection. So, parang natutuwa ako na marami ako na... Uy, sorry. Sorry. Uh, si ano... Marami ako natutulungan. So, gusto ko ipakita sa inyo. Kaya kung inanong ko kay Miss Nancy, uh, yung mga nabigyan ko na libro na wala silang hirap, wala silang hiningi, not even request, not even letter. Sabi ko, okay, just ano, bring your vehicle and get the ano kung as, as many as you can, pwede nyo buhatin. So, magaganda kasi yung books. Uh, karamihan direct from direct from publisher, publishing house. Like McDougall, Mac, 
uh, mag-grow heal, ganyan. Tsaka meron din na, yung hindi nakabox, loose na books, ay parang slightly, ano, loose. Yung mga textbooks na mga high school o college na, na kasi sa states, sa abroad kasi, uh, isang gamitan lang binidispose na nila. So, some of these collections are, are slightly loose. Pero yung mga nakabox, talagang, talagang bago lahat niya. Bago lahat, tingnan mo, ang oh, dami. Uh, kasi itong last na container na, ano, tatlong container yon So, naka, naka, ano kami ng, nakapagbigay ako na sa Mintanao, no man I was still in National Library, yun din ang aking, ano, nakapagsulitista ko ng uh, books, donation from abroad. Hindi lang yan. Pagka nasa abroad ako, nagpupunta rin ako sa mga warehouse. And then, uh, yung mga like Ranferly and then Darien. Ako nagmimili ng libro and then pinadadala ko. It's free. Uh, yung postage. Sila mismo ang nag-ano. Kaya natuntua ako noon. Kasi no, na-invite ako sa Connecticut. Yung in-invite ako ng dating consultant namin sa National Library. For free, ha? He was the one who shouldered everything for my uh, uh, airfare and everything. So, dinala niya ako doon sa mga, mga may book donation program. So, ako mismo namili na and then inano ko sa mga less, yung mga kaibigan ko na nangangailangan mga, nung I was still in the National Library. Alam mo ba, pinadala nila uh, libre by freight ay yung by ganun lang by post office mga cartoons so natutuwa ako and then ngayon uh, nung nasa National Library pa ako inuloy ko pa rin yung paghingi ng libro kasi yung friend ko yung in charge yung director so kaya lang uh, kasi ang inaano yung bayad ng freight from custom to to the beneficiary kung saan building. Nung nasa Bibal, ana, nung sa National Library, ako ilang beses ako nakahingi na ibigay ko sa mga public libraries nationwide. And then, nung wala na ako sa National Library, I'm still, ano, nagbibigay pa rin ako sa kanila tuwing makakahingi ako ng kunti container na books from US. Ang, 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 Ka, ano kong sa ngayon, yung Children's International Philippines. Sila nakapagbigay ng konting container books. But this time, during pandemic, na-stop muna yon So, meron akong naiwan na tatlong container, 44ers yun. Ito nga yung last na naipamigay ko. Na nationwide, marami. Hanggang si Michael Pinto, napabigyan ko sa Kagendeo, ah, uh, Sa, sa Tawi-Tawi, sa Kagendioro, Dabao. And then, yun dito, yung pwede nilang kuhanin by, by, by transport, dito nilang pinakukuha ko sa warehouse. But yung halimbawa sa Baguio, dinadala namin. And then they spent for their, they spent for our transport or accommodation. Doon lang ako ng ano. Doon sa Tawi-Tawi, sa Dabao, Kakayan de Oro, na, but at the same time, not only uh, distribution of books, we bring our, uh, nagpa-puppet show kami, puppet at storytelling, para natin, hindi lang distribution of books ang ginagawa ko. I asked my staff to join me and other association uh, na involved ako. And then, yun, we, we travel and we we bring books and at the same time we have yung turnover of books and then we have storytelling and then puppet show and then ano pa pang ginagawa namin yan distribution of books not only to the library but to mga individual na bata we have children's books yun ang pinamimigay namin sa mga kabataan so parang natutuwa ako sa ganun na pagtulong ko kahit wala na ako sa service sa national library so Kaya ako sinama itong aking mga nabigyan no na outreach kami. Uh, we have uh, reader services and then nag-aano pa kami ng story 
telling sa mga bata na pinupuntahan namin mga schools. Yan yung yung ipinita sa Metro Manila. Yun na pupunta kami sa Leyte, sa sa what is called this? Ano na ba? Ano? Kung saan saan na uh, libraries kami napunta. So yun, yung, yun lang ang gusto ko i-share na kahit na ako retired o na wala na ako sa uh, government, I still na to. I want to uh, continue my passion pag yeah. pag-aano sa mga libraries. Talagang all around na po, ma'am, yung mga natulungan yung libraries. Oh, yes. Kung, ay, kung makikita mo lang yung listahan hanggang sa sa basi, sa ano, sa Tawi-Tawi, ha? Tawi-Tawi, I was invited Christ na doon sa Tawi-Tawi. Uh, saka sa Dabao, sa Putabato, halos nationwide na puntahan ko na kahit na wala na ako sa National Library, I still do this. Ano. Pagka lalo na pagka nakakahingi ako, and then, uy, bigyan mo naman kami ng libro. O oh, sige, okay. Uh, and then, the other one providing us the, ano, the airfare, and then accommodation, like in Katende Oro, and then, ano. Kaya sabi ko, natutuwa ako, at parang uh, kahit na senior, I'm still active, and to sa, sa uh, yun ang gusto ko i-share na kahit na retired na, I'm still ano, uh, active sa uh, title. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you very much po, ma'am. Ano, any problem to sa outsourcing? You, you all the source, uh, outsource your other activities in the library? Like yung catalog, you have a catalog. Mm-hmm. Kasi dyan na na-outsource yung mga uh, IT na decision sa kuha, sa pag-ibig. Uh, so, uh, you know, you also outsource yung decision sa IT. Diyan sa ano, sa Dimsu, uh, Miss Anna Nova, nag outsource daw kayo. Especially sa may cataloger daw ba? Miss Anna. Yes, ma'am. Meron po kami cataloger. Ano outsource or? Um, talaga po. Parang kami na lang din po yung nag, uh, nag-provide ng service sa other libraries. No? Baliktad naman po, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Talaga. And then, especially those sa uh, library na nag-ibig sa atin, uh, na walang uh, uh, license or professional librarian, you can do outsource your ano, staff, di ba? Uh, like, itong ano, kasi hawak ko yung Bibal Foundation Library. And then, uh, may mga student assistant na nag-aano sa amin. So, I asked them to uh, arrange the collection. Yung mm-hmm. by, ano. So, ano yun? Then, they just give, uh, and then also in ICCT, ganyan. Awa ko kasi ICCT. Ngayon yung mga student assistant, bibigyan na lang namin sila ng parang monthly, uh, what do you call this? Parang kunting, ano, para sa pag- uh, you can ask your staff or other uh, students. And then, sa ibang alibawa sa yung mga student na maraming tao, hindi kayo magpatulong lalo na nagpatulong sa kayo sa library. Mom? Division. Yes. Ma'am Fer, kasi marami rin po tayong mga librarians. Yung, and, uh, yung classification, yung pag-arrange ng libro, pagkatap... Ayan. Ano? Ayan, bumalik na si Ma'am. Well, kasi kanina naghang lang ng konti, Ma'am. Anyway, Ma'am, uh, baka pwede sa pangtanong kasi meron po siyempre mga nagtatanong yung mga librarians. Paano daw po ba ang 
mga tips ninyo or strategies para maka outsource din po sila sa ibang mga agencies. Any tips, ma'am? Especially po na mayroon pong pandemya ngayon. Ah, uh, like yung para sa sa library nila, sa library or ah uh, kasi yes, ma'am, sa library. Ah, uh, you have few staffs to do the the work. Like uh, sa amin kasi sa, sa publishing wala kasing magagawa na index. So nag-outsource kami. Mahanap kami ng ano. Tapos, uh, yung, yung iba kaparis nung wala, unlike before na, nung before pandemic, wala akong, marami akong tao. Eh ngayong pandemic na islas o na retrench na yung iba sa kasi sarado eh. Um, ngayon, para nag-hingi na lang ako na ibang division na to do the work to to help us my staff kasi ako senior na hanggang uh, work from home na lang ako ngayon this time so isa na lang naiwan sa library uh, kaya yung uh, limbawa gagawin nung yung gagawin halimbawa scanning saka yung printing uh, wala sila kami meron so yun na outsource nila yung ano yung pati yung gagawa Ah, uh, naghihiram kami para sa ibang division para sa amin para gagawin yung printing o yung pag-scan uh, ng mga materials na kailangan ng mga uh, authors. So yun. Ah, uh, kaparis nung sa consortium I mentioned about book sharing, di ba? Ah, uh, resource sharing. Ngayon, you have Marami kayong magkakasamang colleagues. What if, uh, kung halimbawa ka-network mo at hindi available sa iyo at may available sa kanilang library yung kailangan mo, makapag-network ka. Lalo na pagkakaibigan mo, pwede ka namang hiram lang, di ba? Same with that, uh, ako ngayon ganon, sa nagawa nung galing ako sa National Library. Minsan yung library ko ngayon, kailangan ng ganon. Oh, tatawagan ko lang, papadala nila. So, pagkakakilala mo, hindi na kailangan pang mga chichiburichi ba. Basta ipapadala na lang through, through email o yung sa, ano, sa online. So, ganun din ang pwede nyo gawin. Kung hindi available yung material sa inyong library at available sa ibang library, sa school library, pwede kayo maghingi na lang. Bawa, nasira ang printer nyo. Ah, uh, wala kayong printer. Kung kaibigan mo yung ano, pwede ka mag-outsource nung. So, ganyan lang parang working. Uh, kaya dapat, may kapas ko sa Manila, may consortium. Uh-huh. Uh, Buti na lang din dito mong sa Region 1 is meron kaming LibCore. Ay, ah, ganoon. With the libraries of the Region 1, ma'am. So, may consortium din. So, pwede kayong halimbawa, kailangan mo at hindi available sa available sa ibang library Walang problema, pwede dito, pwede na yung tayo na, kaya lang babalik mo. Pagka hindi mo sa yung isa, ano, ah, uh, hindi ba, yung kaya niyo, o, bago mo ilabas, pero kung kaibigan mo, kaya lang na lang, kaya lang, promise na ibalik sa tagad. So, yun lang, resource to all, networking, ah, uh, resource sharing, at saka itong outsourcing, outsource mo yung yung kung wala ka yung gardener pwede mo ipaano yung yung ano ng library paklinis mo pag cleaning di ba at syempre kung nag-iisa ka sa library alam ka na may ko pa mag map map so i outsource mo yung ay ay ah uh, yun ah uh, yun lang naman kailangan talaga pakipag uh, network ka sa mga uh, neighboring, ano mo, libraries. 
So, yeah, thank you very much, po, Ma'am Fe Abelardo, for that very comprehensive discussion. At na discuss nga po ninyo, Ma'am, na uh, ano nga ba ang outsourcing, ang role po nito sa ating library at ang iba't ibang resources ng ating library na pwede po palang i-outsource natin. At oh. na discuss din po ni Ma'am kung ano ang nangyayari sa outsourcing sourcing at madami pa talagang benefits ito. At akala natin ang collections lang po ang pwede natin i-outsource. Pwede din po la, pala ang human resource, mga catalog, yes. ang services po natin. At may bonus pa ang group nila, ma'am, na nagbibigay po ng mga books sa iba't ibang libraries. At ma'am, kulang na po yung ating oras. Baka makahingi na lang po kami ng inyong mensahe, ma'am. Ah, okay. Gusto ko lang magpasalamat. At least kahit na uh, naka- I was given the chance to share my my advocacy sa sa inyo niya sa La Union as a Pangasinan is it Pangasinan La Union di ba Another are you can network ang live Pangasinan hindi ah okay so at uh, nagpapasalamat ako at least uh, I was given the chance to share my advocacy my passion sa library. At uh, sabi ko nga, kahit na wala na ako sa National Library, can still, ano, uh, parang serviceable pa rin. <laughs> uh, I'm still willing to serve, willing to share my knowledge. So yun po. Thank you very much po ma'am sa oras po na binigay niyo po sa amin. Pero bago po namin kayo tuloy bitawan, meron po muna i-award na i-certificate po ang uh, Dimsu Library. So ang magbabasa po ng inyong i-certificate, walang iba po kundi si Dr. Nancy Galpan. And Dr. Nancy. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, that's it, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Yes, thank you for inviting me. Oh, narinig ko kasi talagang pinanood kita habang nagpre-present ka talaga naman present na ano na yun. Prepared na prepared si Ma'am Pe, ah. <laughs> Hindi. Ano lang eh. Kasi sabi ko, I'm still uh, work from home ako. Kaya... <laughs> okay, Ma'am. Ano, uh, we are thankful sa ano, eh, ano lang namin sa inyo yung certificate mo, Ma'am Ha. At sana marami ka pang matutulungan uh, because of this. Dahil alam mo na natin na katulad namin mga libraries, uh, not only in the not only in the HUCs or HAIs, but also in the public as well as school libraries. Ito yung kailangan talaga namin dahil all resources cannot be provided or cannot be funded by our uh, administrator. So yung outsourcing na ito, napakalaki ng tulong dahil nga we also experience na mabigyan din, talagang ano to, they are also related sa aming mga programs or the offering in the different uh, uh, ano natin, colleges <laughs> ng mga HAIs. And ito po ay talagang napakaganda pa niya, especially yung mga books for children uh, that can be used in elementary and high school as well. So ma'am, uh, I just want to read the text. Uh, Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University uh, Integrated Library System presents this certificate of appreciation to uh, Professor Fe e. Abilardo, a retired chief librarian of the National Library of the Philippines, for sharing her invaluable knowledge and expertise on the topic outsourcing of library resources. During the DIMSU Library on Air program at South La Union Campus, Ago La Union, given this 10th day of December 2021. Signed, uh, Honorable Jaime Ipak Manuel Jr., our university president. Ma'am, congratulations po, ma'am, ha? Okay, thank you for inviting me. Ngayon, uh, uh, is there other, ano, 
Picture muna tayo. Ha? Picture muna tayo. <laughs> For documentation. Okay, Miss Anna Nova. Uh, siguro magko-closing muna tayo. Ay, oo nga pala. Mag, uh, mag-closing muna po tayo and then ang uh, ating uh, photo ops. Teka, meron pa ako isi-share. Sino yung mga ka-join yun dyan ngayon? Ah, uh, willing, magbibigay pa ako ng e-books for those schools sa uh, inyo or ano. Ah, uh, okay pa sa inyo, I'll give a copy of the e-books. Mama, bibigay daw po sila ng e-books. Siguro ma'am, very, very welcome sa <laughs> so, gusto yata ng ano to, ng uh, Dimsu Library. No, Miss Ana Nova? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Oo. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, send ko na pati maritime. Sino ba yung nagpunta sa akin ng maritime? Marami yun. Ako just ka 100 uh, titles yun na doon. You can print. Ah. Yes. Thank you in advance nice, po, ma'am. Uh, anong schools, ano ang offer ng courses sa LMSU? Oh, marami yata sila programs. Basta yes, iset na lang dito po namin ang mga programs po namin, ma'am. Kompleto yun. All categories na doon. They so, will send po, through email. Yes. Nag-send ako kay Misa, Dr. Nancy. Pero kung sino pa ang meron dyan, pwede pa ako i-share. Send just me your, what do you call this, uh, email. Yes, ma'am. Send ko sa inyo. Lahat ng nag-join, ano, send ko. Marami yun, lahat ng uh, from religion, philosophy, up to history, literature, and everything, education, maritime, criminology. So lahat yun, lahat ng uh, subjects nandun. Pati yung, ang bibigay pa din ako ng uh, reviewer, you are reviewer ng let. Sa ano pa generous sa kaga ni ma'am? Isang yeah, kapatid. Ma uh, ano Kapalad tayo. Ito ang ano ko, na makatulong. Yun lang kahit na retired ako, I didn't want to uh, share my whatever have I had. Yes. Hey, thank you very much po, ma'am. Just ma send me your email at and sisend ko na lang sa ano, to individual ano, email at. Ay, sige po, ma'am. And thank you po again, Professor Faye Abilardo. At to so, more correction, I'm not a professor. I'm a teacher of biology, but I'm not a professor. Of, uh, I'm a re registered librarian. Okay, so I'm a professor. professor. I'm not a professor. <laughs> okay, lang ako din ano lagay. Okay, okay. At yan po sa puntong ito, kami po ay pansamantalang magpapaalam po muna. At ako po muli ang inyong kabasa, Ana Nova Lakwata Parocha with the Team Library, headed by Dr. Nancy Pihiliana Galvan. In behalf, we would like to acknowledge our University President, Dr. Jaime Ipak Manuel Jr., our Chancellor, Dr. Joan C. Rivera, and our Director of the Library Services and Development, Dr. Sonia S. Isid. Isang mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. At sa lahat din po na bumubuo ng DZAG, Radio Pilipinas, ako o, headed by Station Manager Ms. Maricel Fronda. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Charity Jimenez Frianeza. Nag-iwan na po ng isang magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. God bless everyone. Stay safe and stay healthy. Happy weekend. Yeah, hello. Hi. Picture mo na tayo mo. Thank you.